Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. Those are the words of Bob Marley. Peace be upon his soul. Good morning, and how are you guys doing today? Happy emancipation to all of you, to you and your family across the world. All of you who celebrate in emancipation. Emancipation is a time when we became free. It's a time to be free. So let's celebrate our freedom. Despite the corona lockdown, hey, I still feel free. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today because I intend to have an awesome day. And I have company with me here, Miss Selena. Good morning. Yeah, we're going out on some adventures today. So, given the fact it's Emancipation Day today, I want to make a dish that my African brothers and sisters, you know, would have made culturally back then and it's still available today it is still been made in Guyana something called metem G or metem metem is comprised of um, provisions like ground provisions um, cassava edos sweet potato we got some plantain coconut milk and some dumpling or duff you call it I'm gonna make sure I head down to Monrepo's market but it's a holiday I'm not sure the market is gonna be open on full scale yesterday was a holiday as well Eid so they should have the market open I'm not certain but I'm heading down there to pick up my supplies and in the meantime as I pass down there I'm gonna have to visit um, the lady that is um, that sells the dog food who's constructing her house I'm gonna check the progress of her house and also I'm gonna go visit the house that burnt down and you know, I've been there yesterday and I was so impressed that they already rebuilt a wooden house so I have some donations for them so I'm gonna visit them as well hey I'm gonna come back and head back into the kitchen start cooking my metem I want to thank all you guys who made it possible you know all this donation here from you know you got Krishna and um, his wife you have Nazir Khan and Ratman or you got um, a good my good friend Michael Michael Rampasad and Sherry Rampasad from um, from New Jersey we got a total of 1850 US dollars which is about uh, 370,000 Guyana dollar you know I just want to say hats off to you guys thank you so much for your continuous contribution towards uh, humanity and humanitarian works may God continue to bless you and continue to do your acts of kindness how you doing good morning good morning you all right you see yourself on yeah. TV yeah right so you're, you're a movie star now anyway this two person here, Ashley and Justin Duarca from Canada, uh -huh. they sent a hundred Canadian for you and your brother and your sister and for you buy a school thing for yeah. go back to school, right? Yeah. All right. And um, oh, I want to gift you a bag. All right. This bag, if you want to sell your jeans, you'll put your money yeah. and so inside, right? Yeah. yeah. The umbrella gonna match up with your bag, right? Yeah. And you get a partner selling with you here. So today you got drinks and things selling up there. And so. I'm here again passing by and I, I'm dropping off a gift that you know one of you guys sent from Canada and I've gifted the young lady a pretty little bag there she's gonna put her money when she um, sell, sell she get it but she um, just soda and stuff right so this is how you extend your acts of kindness I run into a few of my subscribers here man this young lady watch my channel what, what's your name darling Carol, oh Carol, wow, and what's your name? Angel, Angel, nice. So, I run into a subscriber here. A pleasure meeting you all, man. Nice right? to meet you again. Yeah, good. Good. Have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. I'm getting my, my, my car in here, and um, what else you got put in this method? Coconut. It's a coconut. And one more. Yeah, two. Yeah, two coconuts. You get me corn, and piece of piece of ginger. I like to put my little ginger in my food. So I'm getting my supplies here, we're going down to the kitchen. Here I'm getting my two ducks by Uncle Ganesh. It's, it's holiday, you know, in Guyana. We Guyanese, we cook up when it's holiday. So even though I'm making my metem, you know, my French go on and make sure a little duck curry, eh? Here I am once again, I'm visiting this family. Hey, good day, how are you guys doing? My oh man, what's up? You alright? Good buddy. Alright, so I am once again here on behalf of um, some kind donors. Um, these are the names um, of the people. I'd like to have the names. 
Yeah, those are the people who um, sent the uh, total. We have a total of, uh, I think it's 1,850 US, which is like 370,000 Ghana dollars, right? Thank you guys thank you so much. So thanks much for us who sent us this money. So we, we can complete a lot. whatever yeah. has been done. Yes. And thanks and so much. much God bless, bless him. Yes. Bless you all that we've donated. Bless you also with your good job, job that you are doing. doing. Thank you. So you know, you guys, you heard it. Because um, if it wasn't for you, for you this would be the reach out show. to me Correct. to have this. Well, you know, I I try my best to do whatever I can for okay, people. You know. that, that's what I do. And getting this little help from you, my message to people okay, yes. is that you do one act of kindness. Yes. If you yes. can help somebody sometime down in your life, life yes. just help them. The same. Pass the same. on the blessing. Yes. All right? Oh, all right. bless them bless so much. much. You happy, boy? Yeah. This man happy, all right? So we at least make somebody happy. Yes. yes all right, yes. so. Thank you, guys. I, I wish you, wish you good luck, ones. right? Yeah. yeah. So as you can see here, the masjid is still giving out um, meat, beef, that is, to, you know, residents that are in need. Because yesterday was Eid, and you know the celebrations continue even though we're on lockdown you know we are still celebrating in a special kind of way last year there were huge celebrations here at the national park for emancipation but due to covid looks like uh, those celebrations are cancelled you got some boys fishing there as well so this is the beauty i always tell you about and you can pick food from the garden now over here I have some lovely celery that I'm gonna be picking look how huge those celeries are and of course I'm gonna get some shallot from my garden I'll pick as, as much as I need I need this much here to cook my metem today all right, so I'm getting fresh stuff. And of course I got some married man here or you call it basil. Look at these bad boys, my tomatoes. You know, we got a lot of tomatoes on this tree. It's coming real, real nice. So this is the beauty of growing your own food. This is how you crack the coconut open. You get a nice coconut water in there, so I can drink it. Kind of sweet. I gotta grate these to put in the metem. These are my ingredients I'm gonna be using today. So you saw me picking some fresh celery and shallot and my marred man there, or basil. We got some maru pepper, cassava, sweet potato, yeah, those plantain. We got some corn and two coconut. Of course, you know, I love to add my little ginger. This is not part of it, but I'm gonna add it. And over here, I got some bango mary and I got some mullet. Then by selling it has a gift to me. And I got two dogs in my sledge there. So this is what I'm gonna use today to make my metem. Of course, I gotta get some flour to make the dumpling or the duff. All right, so I'm gonna clean that up and get started. This is how you create the coconut, the old time way, the old fashioned way. And over here, I'm getting some help from Miss Lynch to prepare the provisions. You know, she's happily participating because this is part of her heritage, her cultural heritage. So, I am also happy to be celebrating with my wife, part of her culture part of our heritage. This is how the pro does clean the coconut. Now, see the new generation? Try it, but I'm gonna make sure I get a lot of meat into this. And I gotta be first. Okay, so far as I work. We used to challenge my sister, my brother, we used to challenge one another. How much you can grate. Coconuts you can grate in one day. Look at it now. 
Selina and I we finished grating the coconut and now I'm gonna add some water to it. And then I'm gonna squeeze this coconut in the process and then I'm gonna get the milk from it to go into my pot. So you add about two pints of water and this is how you mash it. Like this. This is how you squeeze it and then I'm gonna keep these here to repeat the process. So I'm gonna get some more milk from this coconut flesh here. Then you get a strainer like this. Mahan, this take me back, back into the 80s. And my father and my mother, we used to make coconut oil to sell. So I have a fair idea how to make coconut oil. Look at the goodness here. Mahan, you tell me any can of coconut milk could fresh like this? Never. This is the freshness. So right now, over here, I'm gonna repeat the process and get some more milk from the remaining. So I add a little oil in the body. That's the fry up the onion and the um, garlic and stuff. My oil is hot. I'm using a really big pot because I'm making a lot of mess today. Not like when you have some extra pair of hands eh? to help out in the kitchen. Good, so I'm gonna let this cook a little. I'm gonna cook this until it gets golden brown. Please note, I am no specialist in cooking methem. It's my first time I'm cooking this methem, alright? It's Emancipation Day and I'm making a dish that coincides with emancipation and of course my wife is part of her tradition as well but unfortunately she did not learn to cook met them either it's okay not to know everything and it's okay to learn so here i'm practicing my first time around to make met them wish me luck look how nice and golden brown these um seasoning are miss lynch is pouring the coconut milk there you go darling Lovely. This pot already starts smelling good already. <laughs> Look at the goodness here. Please see the provision. We pour that in one time to start boiling. And then we got in the rest of the um, coconut milk. We are in all them um, sweet potato, cassava, edos, and plantain. Metem is something similar to soup or the fish broth. It's, it's, almost the same ingredients you're using the only thing different is the coconut milk I don't use coconut milk in my soup or my fish broth but here I, I, I'm using it because it's one of the ingredients all right so hey we are having fun cooking all right we're trying out a new dish today wish us luck we need it so this is what it looks like right now and we're adding instead of adding water I reuse the coconut flesh and I you know I get a little bit more coconut milk out of it so this is what the goodness look like here right now I put it in my fine time all right married man we got all this shallot we got some more fine timey and we got some celery Now, ginger, ginger is not one of the ingredients in metem. But you know what? I love cooking ginger. But I'm not gonna cook with it today. Because let me learn to cook metem the right way. No ginger. Have a look at the goodness here. It all um, seasoning, great seasoning there, and the provision. And remember something else. Some people, some people cook their metem with salt, beef, or you know, with minced meat. I am not, I'm making my own vegetarian, and I'm gonna fry some fish on top. I'm adding two spoon of salt. It's a really large pot, so you need that much salt. And now for the dumplings. I have the lady here who's a specialist. So now we're gonna add some butter. 
about two big scoops of butter. And we added some sugar to give the, the dumpling or the dough a little sweetness to it. And a little bit of salt as well. A little pinch of it. And you want to mix that up. Then we're going to add the water to bring it to a bring it all together i forgot to mention we are using self-rising flour so you don't need baking powder those of you who are using the all-purpose flour you got to add baking powder and look at the beauty of that dough they come into together i'm going to season the fish to fry but i'm not going to use all them green seasoning i'm using these here look at these here i got some garlic powder ginger powder paprika and some cumin and of course some salt, right? So you wanna add a tablespoon of salt. Cumin. Give it some heat. The paprika. Some ginger powder. And this doesn't have any special measurement, it shows how much you like. Based on how much how you like to taste your fish. And this is the main guy, the garlic. This I would add a little bit extra of this because, you know, to give it that garlic kind of flavor. Then you want to mix all these bad boys up. But look at the goodness here. Look at the goodness here. We're going to be... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Nature already have her dumplings ready. But that's going to go in. When the, when the provision comes to a boil, that's when we're going to add in those um, dumplings. So you don't want to overcook that to, for it to fall and get hard. All of our provisions has come to a boil. So now we're gonna add in the uh, dumplings for about five minutes to, to steam. Okay, and we part of MetMG. We'll be ready to eat. Yeah. In the meantime, I got my oil heat in there to start frying these bad boys. We are in the dumplings. So you put them at the top of the pot. So you want to cover this pot and let them dumplings that steam up and fall in love. Now I'm going to focus on my fish. So you make sure you butter the fish properly and you put it down in that oil there. After five minutes, we're gonna check how we don't play and we met them. Wow! Listen, look at that. So awesome. Oh my god. These dumplings, see how you crack open there? It? It's soft. Thanks to Google and YouTube, I learned to cook met them on Google. <laughs> So now we're gonna take out these um, dumplings and put them in a separate container. And then the metam gonna buy along, another five minutes, and it's ready to eat. While we got be fish bubble in there. So without any practice, my metam shaping up real good. The only thing missing from it is there. The salt fish or the salt beef or something, yeah. The yeah, you're supposed to add some salt beef or salt fish, you know, to the metem. But of course, you know, I'm not eating meat right now. And I just have to make it veggie. Look at the beauty of my metem here. Man, this is the greatness. I'm going to let it boil for five minutes more. Put a little bit of the water, evaporate, and we're good to go. Time to taste. Look at the goodness there. Man. Look at that little love here. I gotta get my dough. My dough clean. Alright, let me just hold it like this and put it there. One is enough for me. Cover this back with my fried fish. Happy emancipation. Cheers. Time to taste. So, this fish. You should be tasting this food because I cook it, I never cooked it before. 
I don't want the viewers to feel like lying to them with the taste. You, I want you to taste. What do you say, darling? Keep eating more if you're not getting the flavor. Your bowl might burn like <laughs> she does. She might eat the entire bowl and then tell me what's going on. You pass. A plus. She said A plus. A plus. All right. Well, it's time to me to continue eating. Let's just say again. Pass. But tell her the truth. This thing turned out to be good. I just normally go buy, buy, buy spicy dish and buy this method. It tastes the same. Trust me. Five minutes later, I done clear up most of the metal. I've tried my best to eat it out. Let's try this real good. Right, in the meantime, okay. Look at the lobby. My pie fish. I got some more fine When well, I'm done, I'm going to go lie down. My belly is so full. I'm gonna take some breeze and relax. Cause this food is rich with the coconut milk. It makes you get fatigued and wanna just relax. Rest off, you think I am eat. So, hope you guys enjoy the day with me. Hope you enjoy this video. If you do, kindly show me some love. Hit that like button. Please share this video so more people like yourself can see it. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Peace out, God bless you. See you in the next video.